dropped my daughter off at her grandma's house because she hasn't been able to spend really any time with her grandma because um, my, my mom doesn't come over to watch the kids anymore because I'm off so she really doesn't get to see them all that often so I figured to give myself a break um, from having her with me grocery shopping and driving me absolutely up the wall that I'd asked my mom if she wanted to keep an eye on her and she said yeah so that is what they're doing and the first thing that when we got there she makes my mom put on her shoes and take her out to swing <laughs> right away put her shoes back or she took her shoes off gave the dog a treat because that's what she does every time she goes over there and then put her shoes back on she grandma swing swing <laughs> it was so cute I asked Kenna if she was excited yeah <laughs> she she loves to be with her grandma so that's nice my dad's not home yet um, he's still on the road but I have until noon which it's 9 40 by the time I get there and hopefully I can get it all done in time so should be able to, but we will see, I guess. So I'm on my way back to go get my daughter. Um, <laughs> it took me longer in the grocery store than it normally does, and I don't think that's a good thing because I spent $170. Lately, I have been going every single week and spending around that price, and it's getting a little bit ridiculous. I don't even know how I'm accumulating that. Um, I try to buy a little bit of snack foods to put in um, Seth's lunch and stuff like that. So now now that Seth's back to school, I have to think of, you know, lunch things for him. So that adds up even more. And they were running a lot of good deals. And then that, that all adds up. So I saved $87 today, but... I mean, seriously. <laughs> and this little booger inside my tummy is going crazy um, because I I don't drink soda and I don't drink purified water. And all they had at the freaking grocery store that was cold and this really annoying because that's all they ever have was purified cold water and it's disgusting so I the next thing that was sitting next to it was a soda so I just grabbed it I have not drank soda for probably just about nine months now and <laughs> I took a sip out of it and he's just going crazy in my tummy and then you got retards who drive 40 miles an hour on a 60 mile an hour road I hate passing people. It gets me really nervous. So, I don't know. On the way to go pick the booger girl up. So, I just got done putting all the groceries away. And my counter is a mess because I broke open all the fruit snacks. And I'm going to go through and find the um, box tops. But anyway, our cupboards were pretty much bare. This one's still pretty bare, but there's a whole thing. All that's for snacks, for school and stuff. And then this entire thing is full of fruits and canned veggies. And then some extra snack packs and stuff like that. They didn't put anything in there. This cupboard's full of goodies. And my refrigerator was completely empty. completely full and my freezer is completely completely full I should have looked to see if they had more outshine um, uh, popsicles but anyways I got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay so there's four 14 um, bags of groceries for $170 and one penny. Do you think that's good or did I do really horrible? <laughs> Anyways, I've got a stuff I gotta do now, so 
I'm gonna cut off all these box tops and stuff off of here so that I can get this junk out of my way and finish cleaning up my kitchen now. Now that I made it a big old mess. But that's alright. That's alright. Hopefully I won't have to go grocery shopping again next week. Because I think there's plenty of food in here to last us a couple weeks. So. so Adam is out working on his stupid deer stand. And I am going to start some more laundry. That's all I ever do. Household chores. Be nice if my husband would help. <laughs> but whatever. I'm such a complainer when it comes to this, but I just get sick of the lack of respect I have around the house sometimes. And it really would be nice for somebody to help me out with the cleaning and stuff around the house instead of me always doing it by myself. But nope. Never happens. <clears throat> That's gross. Oh, I this little one should be taking a nap, but Kenna, stop. Goodness gracious. I'm doing like normal. Like normal. So, I think I've discussed this before about wanting to put my daily vlogs on a different channel. And I was kind of thinking of the name either daily adventures or daily steps or something along that line to let people know that it is a daily channel that I may not be totally good at but enjoy doing so that's the only only thing that matters. What are you doing baby? Let's try it. Hmm? Let's try it. That doesn't go that big old thing. Does not go on that truck. Cause the girl. Good girl. So Adam's home and I checked the mail and I got this Moby wrap in the mail. So it's just the black Moby wrap. And now I need to figure out how to use it. But birth to 35 pounds. Kids are outside playing with Adam right now. And I'm uploading the vlog and possibly gonna go for a walk to see if I can get things started because I've been kind of cramping lately. We have BLTs for supper today. And yeah, I'm out of breath. And it's kind of a really nice um, fall day outside. Very nice fall day outside, I should say. That's what I'm doing. The room's kind of a mess. Okay, I like kitty, 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 kitty. She don't belong in there. You little kitty. Don't belong in the baby's room. Whatever, as long as you don't crawl up on the, the uh, bed. That's all right. Um, so this morning, okay, the other day, I killed a big giant spider. If you follow my Instagram, um, which is linked down below, you would see the spider. I squished it right there in the wall. <laughs> then this morning, I walked into my closet, and there was another big, giant spider. Ugh. I do not want to find another one of these gigantic, freaky-looking things. Because they are scary. They are like, ugh. 
enormous. Now, right here, as soon as we get the trim up, you won't see that, but this is where I have my computer desk. I need to put a filing cabinet thingy because I have our bills sitting here. And it's not working out. My desk is starting to get a little bit crowded. So, oh, hey, little baby, you decided to stay out of there, huh? Huh? Don't go stepping on nothing under there. But. Yeah, I'm definitely out of breath today, and I don't know why. But I do feel a little bit crampy, and hopefully that means it's the start of something. Hopefully, but I guess we'll see. We'll see how it goes these next couple weeks or couple days. Hopefully, guys, pray for me. Couple days. I can't do this much longer. <laughs> I know I sound like a big wine baby, but that's just how it is for me. Once I get to that point where I'm almost well, in full term, that I don't want nothing to do with being pregnant anymore. It's just peachy fine for him to come out because my son was born at 34 weeks and he was peachy fine. The only thing he had to do was stay in the NIC unit for um, being underweight, and that's the only reason why he had to be in the NICU now. So he wasn't hooked up to anything except for the first day, like monitors and stuff, just to regulate him to see if he was breathing fine and stuff. Other than that, he was a perfect four-pound baby. <laughs> but now he is a I don't know how many pounds little brat that he has. <laughs> But, you know, that's the story of my life. Story of my life.